Good Tuesday Shaving Cadre and everybody out in YouTube land, Handle Barber Dave with Handle Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home. Uh, today we're going to do, even though it's Italian theme week and everybody knows how much I love SV, I wanted to do a soap that hasn't been done, or at least I haven't seen it on a video in a long, long time. It's a very old soap since 1893, and there's a love-hate relationship uh, with this soap. Yes, of course, I'm speaking of Mitchell's Wool Fat. Uh, I had not visited this in a while, uh, simply because I didn't have any. I just got a puck that came in. Uh, the thing about Mitchell's Wolf Fat is it's probably the the soap that smells like soap. Uh, it smells like a very nice English, like... English linen after a rainstorm, uh, similar to Williams, uh, and just that pure soap uh, flavor. Uh, it is not an easy soap. Uh, there's people that absolutely hate it, and there's people that absolutely love it. I'm one that loves it. But like Williams, it's not a soap that you can blink your eyes and it lathers. You have to work at it. But the just like Williams is probably the slickest soap out there once you get it to the right consistency, Mitchell's Wool Fat is probably the best post-shave feel of any soap out there. Uh, it's that good. But once again, you have to work for it. Uh, it is a tallow and lanolin-based soap. Uh, it's their original 1893 formula. So this stuff hasn't changed. Relatively inexpensive, uh, but you do have to work at it. So we'll be using that, uh, Mitchell's Wool Fat, for our shave soap today. Uh, for our tool of the day, our razor, we are going to go with the Queen. We are going to go with the CV Helgestrand MK32. Uh, this is a beast of a razor. Uh, it does have faux scale, uh, faux ivory scales on it, but it's uh, very nice. Uh, we will do post shave, of course, with the men and talc. And the brush we're using today will be the Paladin Chief with the Lee Sabini uh, Blonde Badger. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more of. I think it's a uh, 23 millimeter, and it's a little bit more. Uh, dance, uh, which you need with uh, Mitchell's Wool Fat. Uh, for our post shave, we'll be using uh, Canoe Aftershave and Canoe EDT. Uh, the reason for that is it's got a nice soapy, fresh feeling. And then to finish it all off, uh, I found this uh, and it matches perfectly and it's Tom Ford uh, White Suede. Uh, and then of course we will be using our Lucky Tiger post shave. So once again, the thing about uh, Mitchell's Wool Fat is that uh, you need to start off with a reasonably dry brush, drier than drier than normal, and then you. Um, I've graded what I've found over the over the time being that grading a brand new puck of Mitchell's Wool Fat into the uh, ceramic uh, dish is the best way to go, and then blooming the soap uh, with a um, a warm water but it's wonderful and then loading it you know with most soaps you can load 30 seconds to 45 seconds with Mitchell's wool fat in my opinion um, you need to load this for a good minute at least you want to load it like you're gonna have more soap than you know what to do with um, I find that that helps and then obviously adding the water similar to Williams you've got to just add the water at the right times and at the right consistency but like most British hard soaps and this is one of the hardest soaps out there um, as far as a uh, triple milled and so forth and a lot of people have difficulties with triple milled soaps especially of the British variety uh, because they get bubbly uh, they dissipate uh, or they're just plain out junk um, Eucharist is one that I will uh, tell you plus the other thing with Mitchell's wool fat is that uh, it does have a tallow in it. I mean, not a tallow, I'm sorry, a lanolin in it. And some people have a very severe uh, lanolin uh, reaction. So in that respect, uh, you have to be careful. But like I said, of the, of the, the nicest soaps, uh, Mitchell's Wolf Fat is just fantastic. You just really have to load it like uh, it's going out of style. And I think right now we're just at about at a minute or thereabouts and it's the proto lather is good it is a little bit thick but that's what you want because you want to add the lather slowly and surely so there's what you want to load with and uh, I will take the proto lather and uh, put that on my face and follow that with a hot towel so hopefully more people will get on the Mitchell's wool fat bandwagon uh, as it is very slick the post shave properties are as good if not better than any soap out there in my opinion 
and it's just it's just good stuff. The 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 claim to fame of of course of uh, Mitchell's wool fat is the post shave, the post shave feeling. That that is by by far one of the best. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a hot towel. And then we'll go right into face lathering. Now this is also a soap you really want to work in. Because it can get foamy reasonably quick. But if you load it enough, there's enough soap in there that you can get a beautiful lather. But like I said, you have to, especially if you're face lathering, if you're bowl lathering, it's a little bit easier because you can judge the water. I just don't, I'm not a big bowl lathering person. But uh, you can get a good, uh, good volume out of this soap and just add a, uh, just a few drops to incorporate that. to get that sheen of the slickness. So like I said, with Mitchell's wool fat, if you are willing to take the time to get to know the soap, you'll be heavily, heavily, heavily rewarded, um, both during the shave and uh, post-shave. Okay, we're almost there. Okay, that's about right, nice and slick. So I hope everybody's having a nice Tuesday. Um, I didn't mention it in my video yesterday, but uh, I will today. Um, I've got mixed feelings about the last episode of Game of Thrones. Um, quite frankly, I'm a little pissed off. Uh, I knew it was going to happen, especially after John and Daenerys kissed and she said, okay, by fire then. I knew that something stupid was going to happen, but uh, I see why she wanted to erase everybody. But I think it killed the series right then and there, no matter what happens in the last episode. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay, first pass with the queen. The hell just strands by nature. Are such a hard Swedish steel that they shave perfectly. Once honed, you don't have to do a lot to them. A touch up now and then. But that being said, the Helga strands are not a forgiving razor at all. Your technique needs to be almost perfect to avoid bloodshed. And even then, if she's not feeling it, she'll let you know. Um, Lots of fun things going on on the forum right now. 
and I've got to say this to Chad, um, I have never received PMs from members asking for your lynching. So you must be doing a fantastic job in the bingo department, which may give a, a better, um, a better uh, custom title, but we shall see. Uh, so we'll see about that and everything else. We're going to go ahead and drop 10 times each on either one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, get rinsed off here. First pass was incredible. Now, another thing that should be said about Mitchell's Wolf Fat is the post-pass slickness is unreal. I mean, it is really slick. But we'll go ahead and do that, and we'll hit the time warp. We'll see you on the other side of the shave for final comments. Okay, we're back. Uh, tremendous shave. A um, little bit of sting with the uh, Lucky Tiger. I think I got a little bit uh, excited with the MK32. And it should just be noted that no matter how many, uh, how much experience you have, and I'm probably somewhere in close to the 1300 range as far as uh, um, straight shaves now. Uh, these things will always try to bite you. In fact, when I was picking it up to strop it, I picked it up backwards and she fell forward and tried to take my finger. So I would treat every straight razor if it was like a rattlesnake wanting to, to bite you. Um, and this one more than anything, I don't know why. Um, I need to find out the history on that one from Arne to find out how bad she is. So we'll go ahead. We've already done the Lucky Tiger and the Cold Towel. We'll now follow this up with the... Uh, Canoe. And canoe matches perfectly with this. I had thought about going with the vintage uh, British Sterling, but it was a little bit too, uh, a little bit too sweet. Uh, so this, uh, the canoe is, uh, is perfect for it. Uh, we'll follow up with some talc and then everything else. So. So like I said, if you're on the fence about Mitchell's wolf fat or if you've written Mitchell's full wolf, wolf fat off, revisit it. Um, it just takes a little bit of patience, um, but the rewards, as I said, the rewards are incredible. Uh, the post-shave um, feeling, the slickness during the shave, um, and the post-pass slickness are all elite status. Uh, the only reason I don't uh, mark it as an elite soap uh, is because it does take um, a little bit extra work um, to get the lather, like, you know, to get the lather right. Where most of the elite soaps, you know, you load for 15, 20 seconds and boom, you're perfect. But Mitchell's Wolf Fat is a classic. It's definitely worth um, going after again if you haven't seen it already. Um, so we've got both the canoe on and now we'll finish up with just the, uh, the white suede and Tom Ford's, uh, parfums are very strong. So you don't, you don't need a lot. And, uh, and that's it. So once again, you know, um, take the chance 
on Mitchell's wool fat. It's uh, it's worth it. It's worth the extra work. The post shave feel is just incredible. Okay, that's it for today. That's Hanno Barber Day's Barbershop at Home. Hope you have a wonderful uh, Tuesday and a wonderful rest of the week. And we'll see you on the cadre, www.theshavingcadre.com. Take care.